don't go crazy with the brows. Try to keep it minimal but still looking good. What's up guys, it's Robin. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If you don't know me, I run a holistic beauty blog called Be Whole and it's all about feeling beautiful from inside out. In this video, I'm going to be doing a full face of non-toxic makeup. They're all cruelty free and some of the products in here in this video is also vegan friendly. So they haven't um, been tested on animals but they also don't have animal byproducts in them which is great. I will link the product list below so that you can buy it if you'd like. I'm going to be using my W Beauty Concealer and this is by Woolies. It's a light one, yeah, it's the one in light. I actually was medium when I started using Woolies Beauty, but seasons changed, obviously it was winter. And I actually have been using so much sunscreen that I turned into light. <laughs> this is an SPF 15 and it says that it's non-toxic. It doesn't have any harsh ingredients in it and it is also beauty without cruelty. It has the Beauty Without Cruelty Bunny on it. So one thing that you also need to know is sometimes it says it's non-tox... Sometimes it says that it's cruelty free but then it doesn't have the bunny on it. So can you even really trust it if it doesn't? Check for the bunny. I use the concealer just on like my important areas that I want to cover like where my scarring is. And then I use my finger because... It uses less product. I actually used to wear a lot of makeup um, when I was younger because I used to work for Clarence during varsity. Um, I think I was 17 or 18 when I started working for Clarence and that was my first introduction to like plant-based products and I absolutely love them. I still love Clarence. Uh, my only thing with them is that they continually discontinue my favorite products and I just start liking something and the minute I start liking something then they discontinue it. So that's my only issue with Clarence other than that I love it. Oh what I also wanted to say is that if you are seeing the light changing it's because I'm using natural light and I couldn't manage to close my window for some reason so unfortunately you're gonna have to listen to cars driving by I hope you don't mind it but yeah as I was saying like I actually used to wear a lot of makeup and I used to wear bright colors and I mean Clarence is not um, one of those they're not one of those brands that uses bright that wears bright colors anyway like they don't create bright colors but they did have a few colors in the range like purples and um, blues and pinks that were quite intense like it had strong pigments and I would just experiment with those colors and of course I did like the Clarence Beauty training, the skincare and the makeup training. During Varsity I worked in a couple of stores so one of them was Truett, one of them was Shini and another was Stutterford so I do know that retail life. Then I am going in with my Benacost vegan eyebrow liner, definer and this was 135 Rand. Um, so the pencil, like you can see, I've already used it. Um, the pencil is quite nice. It's like a dark brown and um, I've had some issues with my brows in terms of having them threaded too finely. And now I'm trying to regrow my, my brows, so I'm just filling them in here and there. On the back of it, there is a brush for me to just brush it straight to make sure that it's on point. I don't go crazy with the brows. Try to keep it minimal but still looking good. Just 
brush and then make sure that they it's still looking normal. Like I, I, I actually don't like them when they look so and then they look really flat and too angled. It just doesn't look real to me. So I like them to look a little wild. I'm gonna apply some mascara. This is the Pure Wild Volumizing Mascara by Hey Gorgeous, and it says that it's all natural, um, toxin free. And this is up the, in the color black. What I did find weird about this brush is that it has an angle towards the end, which I don't really think is useful because. You mostly use the front end of the front part of the brush. But anyway, just let me know. Eh? Am I the only one who purses my lips when I'm applying a mascara? I just feel like it's impossible for me to keep my lips straight. Wow, look at the difference though. Okay, so maybe they knew what they were doing with this brush because. It looks well. Now for the right side. Using my left hand. Good luck to me. And then I'm going to be using this Enthusiasm Lipstick. It is in the color Chocolate. And I will say that at first I thought that this looked a lot like Plum. Because it's so light when you look at the actual color. But when I applied it to my lips, I had initially rubbed it. But now I'm going to use a brush. And I will show you how intense the pigment is. Okay, look how intense this is. It's quite dark. Almost personal. Almost as the color oxidizes, like it only changes once it comes into contact with it with your skin. And then for a highlighter, I use the Slay for Days palette, which I have had for the longest time. And this is obviously cruelty free. Switch Beauty is a fave. Um, I just want to show you guys the palette, but like, yeah, it's embarrassing because this one, this one fell out. Anyway, so I'm just going to be using this color as a highlighter. I'm not going to do any bronzer because I don't want to do extra. I'm just going to line my cheekbones. Just above my cheekbones. Take the sun. Such an intense pigment, even though I haven't applied a lot. And then some for my nose. And then some for my chin. Chin, chin, chin. 
Wow, my bands are super stained. I haven't been smiling with my mouth open because I recently had curry. I made curry with turmeric in it and now my bands are super stained. But anyway, it's fine. I'm changing my bands next week, so it's fine. Anyway, and that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.